am your local plant expert here at Jacobs Trading. If you haven't heard of Jacobs Trading, make sure you check the description below. We have some information about our online store as well as our website. It's pretty cool, you should go check it out. So today, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be talking about succulent terrariums and how to plant them. Let's get to it. Okay, so today we're gonna be planting a terrarium. So you can use pretty much anything to plant your terrarium in, but I would recommend using something that has a hole at the bottom of it. It allows for more drainage. But if you're like me and you just find a bowl that you really like that doesn't have a hole, there are ways to get around it. And what we're gonna use is drainage stones. So these little stones here, uh, you don't have to use these ones. You can use pretty much any kind of rock at the bottom or marbles, glass, anything really. Uh, but all you're gonna do is add about an inch of these guys at the bottom of your pot so that it allows for excess water to sit in there. I would not recommend relying on them, but it's another option. So we're gonna add about an inch or two of these rocks here to my bowl, because it doesn't have a hole. So we're gonna carefully add those in. And just one enough so that it covers the bottom. Obviously, if you have like a really tall pot, you could add a little bit more. If you have a really shallow pot, you could add a little less. You just want it so that it gives it a buffer zone. So the next thing you wanna think of is your soil here. So when considering soil, you're gonna to wanna to use the best soil for the plant that you're planning to put into your terrarium. So today we're gonna to be planting with succulents, therefore I'm gonna use a cactus soil. You wanna make sure you don't just use a normal potting soil if you're using succulents because it holds moisture and it will end up killing your plants due to root rot. Uh, cactus soil is a specific blend of soil that allows for quicker evaporation and removal of that water. So it's a mixture of lots of perlite, it has a lot of sand in there, so it allows for quicker drainage. So another thing to consider is what type of plants you're gonna be using in your terrarium. But you also wanna consider where this terrarium is gonna go. So a lot of plants like bright sunlight, uh, but there are some succulents, for example, that like low light, so example, Forthia. Uh, but the plants that I'm gonna be using today like bright sunlight. Typically a thing to think about is that if your succulent has a lot of color, it's like really flashy, you wanna have it in a bright location. Something that has more just dark green leaves, like a Forthia, for example, can do better in low light situations. Uh, but the ones I'm working with today need to be in bright and direct light. So now I'm going to show you how to actually plant your terrarium. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our cactus soil here and we're going to fill about half the terrarium with the cactus soil. That way we're going to leave some space to work with before we add more soil. And now we're going to want to work with our plants. So for the plants, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take it out of the pot here and you're going to want to make sure that you break up some of those roots. So they look in a pot shape, not very really nice to put into your plant. So you kind of want to break it up a little bit, get those roots moving so they know that to start growing out. So you're going to break it up a little bit. And then all you're going to do once it's broken up is going to plunk it into your terrarium here. And then you're going to do that for the rest of your plants that you're going to put into your terrarium. So make sure you break up all the roots there. And then you're just going to dig a little hole and plunk that plant in. So you can put that one down, pack it around just lightly because we're probably gonna move it around as we add the other plants. And we'll just go from there. So once you have all your plants where you want them to be in the nice arrangement that you want, we're gonna add some more soil just so that it holds the plants in. So you're just gonna kind of carefully add some soil around the plants. You wanna try not getting soil on top of the plants, but just kind of go around it, pack them down a little bit, rotate your plant here get to the ones in the back. Again, pack down each of the plants so that they're nice and snug and that they don't move around a lot. And then add enough soil so that there's about an inch away from the top. So that'll leave you some room for water later on, as well as decorations. If you do get a little bit of soil on your plants, you can always use a little bit of a paintbrush or a toothpick just to flick it off there. You just want to be gentle because the plants are fragile. And when you're packing in your plants, make sure you're not grabbing the plant itself. Don't kind of, don't squish it, they're fragile. You don't want to do that. So now that all my plants are packed down, they're not wobbling around, they're secure, we're going to move on to the fun part of making a terrarium, which is decorating. So as you can see, I've added some moss, a little butterfly, and some crystals here, but feel free to decorate your terrarium however you like. So let's talk about watering. Before you water your terrarium, you're gonna to wanna to wait two or three days to allow your plants to settle. When you do water your terrarium, you wanna make sure that you don't water over top of your plants. 
over time this can lead to root rot which will eventually kill your plant. So you want to make sure you water around your plants there. Uh, when you do water just add a little bit of water just around your plants so that it gets just a little bit of water that it needs. Uh, you want to also check to make sure that your plants are dry before you water it the next time. So you want to make sure you stick your finger all the way down into the soil there just to make sure it's nice and dry. Also, as a side note, if you do add some kind of decorative moss or rocks to the top of your terrarium here, you want to make sure it's extra dry before you water it again. A lot of the times, moss or rocks will add extra humidity, so it will keep in that moisture. So you just want to make sure you stick your finger all the way down, you make sure it's dry before you give it any more water. So there you have it, our finished terrarium here. If you have any other questions, make sure you write them down in the comments below. I would love to answer them. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you learned a little something about how to plant a terrarium today. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. We're putting up videos every week. Stay in bloom.